So you got a new pistol for Christmas. Now what? This question was asked for me, to me, last week. Well, I bought my wife a new pistol. What should I tell her? We get people coming here all the time with new pistols that they bought online or they bought somewhere or they bought at a big box store. And they ask me what I should do first. And I always tell them, instructor, find you a good instructor that can help you with your foundation, your fundamentals, your grip, your stance, your trigger control, your sight picture, sight alignment. This unit or this weapon or this pistol or this tool just needs to be operated by a craftsman. And that's kind of what we need to get our head around first. Although you're looking at it as a deadly weapon, it's truly not a deadly weapon because it doesn't do anything without you. So how would I find the best instructor in your area? Well, if you're in Southwest Florida, you already found them. I, I hate to be biased, but our 300 and almost 70 five-star reviews says it all. But if you can't make it to us, then I would recommend you hit the NRA or the United States Concealed Carry Association, put in your zip code, <clears throat> and they'll give you instructors in your area that can support you. Now, you could hit a couple of the gun ranges in town if you live in a local area, and I, surely some of those gun ranges have instructors in there as well. This is a feel, ladies and gentlemen. When you walk in and talk to the instructor the very first time, I would highly recommend you, you just have a conversation with them and get the feel of where they're coming from. If it's an army guy and you're not an army person, it may be a little bit challenging for you. Right now, most people with new firearms need a little bit of coddling, a little bit of uh, soft hands, basically, to get you through this uh, part of owning a firearm. But once you feel comfortable with them, take a couple classes. Once you've got the classes underneath your belt, you'll feel a lot more comfortable with that firearm. A lot be more um, what you're able to do. It's not rocket science. It's pretty simple, guys. You need to know how to load a magazine. Now, you need to know how to hold on to the pistol. You need to be able to see your sight alignment, sight picture. You need to be able to press the trigger, not pull the trigger. You need to be able to just control the weapon and get you through the recoil. Recoil management is probably the hardest thing as an instructor to teach you. So I'm going to give you some advice right here. For men, we use our pec muscles to control the weapon. So what we want you to do is when you're driving this gun out, I want you to engage your pecs, gentlemen. And this will give you more control over recoil management. The flipping of the muzzle of the gun because you're not controlling it. Uh, for women, it's all about wrist and booty. I always tell you that. So you dr ladies, drive your dominant hand out and pull back with your non-dominant hand. And this will help you control the weapon in that point. Your back muscles should be controlling the weapon. And let's get our feet shoulder width apart, standing stand in a position where we could get our nose over our toes. And when the gun recoils back and forth, we're able to control that as well. Uh, grip is another thing. We got to make sure that we're holding on to the gun properly. You know, we talk about foundation all the time, but a foundation on a home is at the bottom. A foundation on a pistol starts at the pistol and goes to your feet. So you got to get a good foundation. A solid instructor will give you all this information and get you through the fundamentals. And then what you got to do once you've got all that stuff together and you're feeling real comfortable, get your butt to the range. Now, here's the real challenge for most people at the range. You have a 15 round magazine. It does not mean you have to put 15 rounds in the gun. Put five rounds in the gun at a time and slowly press the trigger. What does that mean by slowly press the trigger? It means you should not pull or anticipate the weapon firing. I always tell people the shot should surprise you. It's a slow cadence of a trigger engagement until the weapon fires. 
And then once the weapon fires, you need to line it all back up again and press the trigger again. And each time you press the trigger, when you pull a trigger, like you saw what I was doing, look at this. Do you think I was trying to hit the left? No, I was had too much finger in the gun. It's early this morning and I'm just having had all my coffee in me and I was just pulling that trigger too much. And even to this day, as long as I've been shooting, that's my natural point of aim is to the left. And now what tends to happen there, if I had moved my chin a little bit, it had got me over there a little bit more tighter to the trigger. You know, the firearm, congratulations, I'm glad you got one, but it isn't something you're just gonna pick it up yourself. That's why an instructor or a qualified friend that you trust that can help you get you through your fundamentals. A lot of times there are friends that are shooters, but they're not safety oriented and you gotta be safe. Here's what I'll tell you one thing. If you get a habit of these two things every time, you're gonna be a lot safer with a pistol. Now, when we go to pick up a pistol, we always pick up a pistol with a pistol. If you pick the pistol up with the pistol, every time you pick the weapon up, your finger will be off the trigger. That's number one, keeping your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. And then make sure that you're using your waist to aim the pistol and not your wrist. The more wrist you use to aim the gun, the gun's going to be at some weird angle. It's this, guys. Listen to me. This is the most important thing. A level pistol shoots level. And you got to make sure a pistol is level. When you have a pistol at an angle of this, it's only going to shoot at that angle. But if you have the gun level and you bend at your waist, the gun stays level. Do you see that? So the idea here is when you have the weapon pointed at something and you've got it over your dominant eye, like we're going to do here, you should be able to see directly through the pistol. Not, not this. Don't have the gun low and the front post low. That's going to cause that impact to go low every time. So bring it up in your line of sight, visually see it, and bend at your waist to get it there. And that's going to help you tremendously. And don't worry about those targets down below. Work in your line of sight as much as possible. Working in your line of sight will make you more accurate as well. Uh, so we got grip, we got stance, we got trigger control, we got sight picture, we got sight alignment. Those are the major things. There are a ton of guys just like me on YouTube that will physically walk you through shooting a pistol. Obviously, doing it with somebody will help you get through the fundamentals a lot easier. That's why I highly recommend the very first thing after the getting that pistol home and reading that manual. Don't forget to do that. But then from there, get to an instructor. So instructors aren't expensive if you think about what you're doing. What's your life worth? What's accuracy worth? How about if we took a 50 round box and the 40 of them went exactly where you want them? Isn't that worth it? Because ammo is expensive. And the instructor will walk you through all that stuff. Guys, if you like what we're doing here and you are, please don't fit to hit Guys, the bell. Guys, if you like what we're doing here and you are, please don't fit to hit the bell icon, the like, and the subscribe button. And every time we upload a video, you guys will be the first to know. I want to wish you a happy new year. And I hope everything comes true for you this year. You guys make it true for us every time you watch one of these videos. If you would like to support us in any other way, we have the ability to have memberships and we have the ability to do those super chats and things like that as well. You can always send something our way. We do have our swag down there below as well, which is t-shirts and hats that help us tremendously. Uh, we would truly, truly appreciate anything you do for us. But don't forget to hit the bell icon, the like, and the subscribe button. That's just enough for us. Until next time, God bless, be safe, and remember, you are your first line of defense. Guys, don't forget about our Tuesday night live tonight. We actually physically have New Year's resolutions for shooting. I think you're going to like them. We'll see you. God bless. Bye-bye.